you play Blood Hunt or you want to play Blood Hunt, you need to know this. There are a few major things you need to do to make this game run smoothly. I'm going to cover them all very quickly, so please keep up. The first thing you want to do is open up your Steam library, head down to Vampire the Blood Hunt, right click it, click properties, and then here you're going to unselect this theater mode and then make sure you copy and paste this launch configuration that's going to be pinned on the top comment of this video. Game theater slows down your PC and this launch configuration will help you out a ton when it comes to FPS. For those of you wondering, yes, I will be breaking down all of my in-game video settings later on in the video, but please continue to follow along with this because it will help out your game a ton. After that, head over to Local Files and then click Browse. Head to the Tiger application, right-click it, and head down to Properties. Once in Properties, head over to Compatibility, then go straight down to the box that says Disable Full Screen Optimization. Make sure to select this and then go to High DPI Settings and make sure to select where it says Override High DPI Scaling. Click OK, Apply, and then OK again. Now let's go and do the exact same thing we just did in the previous application to a new application. Go ahead, click on the Tiger folder, head to Binaries, Win64, and scroll down to the Tiger Win64 shipping. Right click on it, go to Properties, then Compatibility, go down to select Disable Full Screen Optimization, click on High DPI Settings, and select Override High DPI Scaling, and then click OK, Apply, and then OK again. After playing Blood Hunt for over 300 hours, these are the best settings I found for FPS and stability. I'm going to start with basic. Make sure you are playing on full screen, V-Sync is turned off, your frame rate is set to unlimited, frame rate smoothing is turned off, make sure use DX12 is off, and AMD FSR is set to ultra quality. Keep in mind, DX12 can be helpful to some 20 series and higher graphics cards and harmful to others, so try enabling it and disabling it for yourself and see what works best for you. AMD FSR is typically used for AMD cards, but I have a 1080 Ti Nvidia card and it helped me out a ton. When you select ultra quality, it changes resolution scaling and improves your performance significantly. Keep in mind, this has helped hundreds of my viewers on Twitch, but it may not help you. So if you don't see a significant performance increase, you might as well just turn it off. Now it's time for the advanced section of the graphics. Make sure your quality preset is set to custom, then make your view distance medium to high depending on your specs. If you have it on low, not enough of your map will stay rendered in and it will actually cause you more stutters and FPS problems than if it was on medium or high. Have materials and texture quality both set to low, as for texture filtering set it at the trilinear, then for effects, foliage and lighting quality set them all to low as well. Turn volumetric fog, ambient occlusion and screen space reflection off. Make sure shadow quality is low, then turn off subsurface scattering and motion blur then unselect chromatic aberration and film grain as well, then turn off bloom, lens flares, and unselect light shafts at the very bottom. My final two tips to improve your performance are a little bit more generic and apply to all games. Type game mode on the bottom left search bar and make sure that you have Windows 10 game mode turned on because it actually helps a lot of games and improved my FPS significantly when it comes to Blood Hunt. Also make sure that your Xbox game bar is turned off if you don't use it because it's only going to hurt your performance in the long run. I learned about disabling full screen optimization and this launch config from Panjay's video. So shout out to Panjay for that and if you want to go check out his channel, the link will be down in the description. If this video helps you out in any way, make sure you hit that subscribe button now and also be sure to follow me on Twitch. I'm live five days a week and the link to my Twitch will be down in the description. I look forward to seeing you all there.